Hello, my name is Shelley Ziegler. I'm one of the library consultants here at the Mississippi Library Commission. I'm going to be talking with you today about some adult suspense and adult thrillers. Um, some of them are going to be coming out soon. Some of them may have just been published. Um, but these are ones that I think that would be uh, really good additions to your collection. So the first one we're going to talk about is called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn, of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. Um, first thing I'm going to say about this, which is kind of interesting, is that when this book was first published, it was called The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Uh, the reason is because um, when it was uh, first printed, um, they did not realize that there was going to be another popular book um, called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And that became a very popular book before The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle became popular. So when the seven deaths of, Hev of Evelyn Hardcastle became published in the United States, they decided to change the title to the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Bear with me. I know that may not make any sense. So you might see this title being either the seven and a half deaths or the seven deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Um, Either way, it's the same book. Um, this book is um, very much kind of in the Agatha Christie type um, genre. Uh, it takes place at a party. Evelyn Hardcastle is killed. It's not a spoiler. That happens at the very beginning. We learn that at the very get-go. And party-goer Aiden Bishop is too late to save her, and he becomes doomed to live this night over and over again, kind of like Groundhog's Day, until he uh, has to solve the murder of Evelyn. Uh, this is a fun book. I think a lot of you who like Agatha Christie or you like the show Quantum Leap, I think you'll really get into this book. All right, our next one is The Other Woman by Sandy Jones. Emily thinks Adam is perfect, the perfect man, the man of her dreams. They have the perfect romance until Emily meets the other woman. The other woman is Adam's mother, Pammy. Uh, is Pammy as evil as she seems? Hmm, we find out some very bizarre things about Pammy. Could she really have played a part in Adam's ex's death? Hmm, read the book and find out. Jane Doe by Victoria Helen Stone. Jane seeks revenge for the suicide of the only person she has ever loved in this world, her best friend Meg. In college, Meg killed herself after years of emotional abuse from her boyfriend, Stephen. Jane has not forgotten his role in Meg's death, and she never will. Jane devises a scheme to take away everything that is important to Stephen and to ultimately kill him. This book is told from Jane's point of view, and his chilling tale keeps the suspense high throughout the entire book. Box by Christina Doucher. In a future where women are forced to wear electroshock bracelets if they speak over a hundred words a day, we, we meet Jean. Jean was a former advisor to the previous president. 
Jean has been called out of a forced retirement to help the new right-wing president's brother. She's been called out in order to help him gain his memory back. And in flashbacks, we learn how this new world came to be and if there is any hope for the future. This book is very much like Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale, which is very popular right now due to the TV series. This would do very well in your collection. The Book of M by Ping Shepherd. This is a world where people begin to lose their shadow, their literal shadow. And in doing so, they begin to lose all their memories from that shadow. This becomes a pandemic in a play, a truly epic and original story that has its feet in fantasy, as well as a sense of a possible, realistic, alternate future. I Will Never Leave You by S.M. Thayer. This is a toxic love triangle. A baby born to the mistress of a man becomes the object used by his wife to keep him in a loveless marriage. If he divorces her, he forfeits any rights to her considerable fortune. The mistress, however, is desperately hoping to keep the father of her baby and wants him to leave his wife, while the wife wants the husband and the baby. A chilling tale of chess with a human baby as the pawn. With You Always by Raina Olson. Main char character Julia is swept off her feet by charming Bryce all too quickly. Soon he is her entire world, as is the church he attends, called the Church of Life. Julia finds herself part of these strange rituals in this church and becomes further removed from her life. Can Julia find her way out before it's too late? Written in a page-turning, live-action, speed of plot, this will be one that a lot of your patrons will be drawn. The Gone World by Tom Svitcherlich. NCIS Special Agent Shannon Moss is on the hunt for a missing Navy SEAL who may have murdered his family. This is a science fiction tale where time and space have little to no boundaries. Shannon will end up chasing this Navy SEAL in the past and into the future. A plot that is a race against time, but reader beware, pay attention to the details. I Know You by Gilly McMillan. Twenty years ago, two 11-year-olds were murdered in the city of Bristol. A man was convicted, but questions still linger. Childhood friend Cody of the two boys still has questions and is consumed by their deaths. Cody starts to investigate in a podcast, which is very timely for the age that we live in. But many people do not want this case reopened. Now another body has been found at the same location as the other two boys from decades before. Are the two murders, two murders linked? Does the podcast play a role? Hmm. Bad Man by Nathan Auerbach. Ben is haunted by the disappearance of his younger brother from five years ago. So he takes a job at the grocery store 
where his brother went missing. The cast of characters at the grocery store add to the eeriness and creepy memories of the book. This is definitely a slice of life with some good old southern gothic literature thrown in as well. Foe by Anne Reed. This is for you sci-fi fans out there. Set in the near future, Junior and Henrietta live in a quiet, solitary life on, on a farm. One day, a mysterious man arrives to tell Junior he has been long-listed for a temporary resettlement into space, and it's called the installation. But Junior never applied for the installation. The creepy factor is also that Henrietta will not be left alone. A synthetic duplicate of Junior will take her place while the real Junior is gone. Naturally, Junior and Henrietta believe and start to see that something sinister is at play here. If you like the Netflix series Black Mirror, you'll probably enjoy this book as well. Lies by T.M. Logan. Joe's life unravels when he discovers his wife is having an affair with her friend's husband. It only gets worse when Joe gets framed for another murder as well. Tied in with the constant use of technology and social media, this is a twisty and timely, quick-paced novel. So thank you for listening to me today, and if you have any questions about any of these books, please give me a call or email me, and I'll be glad to help you with any. Thank you so much.